My name is Billy Lurk, though there aren't many people who remember. For years, I stayed hidden, captain of a ship called the Dreadful Whale. I was a smuggler, fence, and maybe traitor, depending on who you ask. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered after them. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then you're alone, living with your choices. But I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dowd, the Knife of Dunwall. A name called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Shame burns inside you for a long time. When I betrayed Dowd, he let me live. I left Dunwall and my own name behind. For years, I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years, I laughed at myself for even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnaka, and I'm going to find him. When I first caught sight of Dowd, I was just a broken kid, staying alive out of spite. He cut the throats of three men without making a sound, leaving only blood and death in his wake. I don't know what I was hoping for when I followed him that night, but he shared his strange magic with me. And more than that, his skill his time, his trust, and sometimes his secrets. Now he's not the man he was. Here in his final days, he's got wounds that won't ever heal and regrets as sharp as mine. I know how much that carves you up inside, but I found him, and he wants me to help him make up for a lifetime of sins by killing a god. The Abbey teaches us that the outsider preys on weakness. That the void is the source of doubt, heresy, and suffering. That the outsider is to blame for all our ills. Who knows? Maybe they're right. A lifetime ago, I felt the power of the void through Dowd. All of us who were close to him could do unnatural things. Move from rooftop to rooftop in the blink of an eye. Fall on our enemies and slit their throats like shadows sharpened to a fine edge. I made Dunwall bleed for all it had done to me, to the ones I loved. Now the outsider has given that back, for reasons I don't understand, but it feels good. We killed so many rich bastards who thought nothing of hurting us, it felt like justice. Is the outsider to blame for what we did? Does corruption come from the void or from our own hearts? Witches and charlatans wearing necklaces of fingers and teeth. Cities sliding into chaos. Now the eyeless peddle black magic in the streets while their leaders keep even more dangerous secrets locked away. They've got a relic that turned a boy into a god centuries ago. A knife that might be the only way to destroy that god. The outsider knows I intend to steal it. Does he know what else I intend to do? I watched the fires burn all night. Smoke blocking out the stars. Water hissing as the hull of my old ship blackened around his body. Down. Gone at last. How many tried to kill you and came no closer than I did all those years ago? How much coin was on your head, old man? Now no one but the Void can collect. For years, I imagined the Outsider offering me his mark. Instead, he's given me the knife that made him. A weapon that can surely unmake him as well. I can't begin to understand his motives, but I know what Dowd wanted. And if he's got to wander the void forever, maybe I can give him some measure of peace by ending this. As the dreadful whale burned to cinders, did the Outsider laugh? Or just watch. Same as me. It's as fine a pyre as I could make. Farewell, Dowd. I'll finish what you started. There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much. 
but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through, and that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void, a fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the Outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the Void. But tonight, I'll find out if he can still bleed. I can't take back what was done to you all those years ago. No more than I can take back what was done to me. But now you have a chance to be something new. To be something better. It must be strange knowing what you know. Seeing with old eyes all the secrets of the world. We've both seen the worst in people's hearts. But in the end, I gave Dowd peace. And maybe you can find some too. There's so much doubt, but there are some things I know are true. The Outsider is no more, and with that, the world will change in ways none of us can know. But the Void is still there, echoing just beyond what you can see. And there's no one left to say who will and won't be touched by its magic. What happened is what had to happen. Maybe it's not fair, but I can't think of much that is. I know the guilty never get what they deserve. I know the black-eyed bastard never did. But with that knife in his heart, I've even the score. He died for the people twisted by his magic. The cults, witches, and killers. For all the madness and chaos they caused. For Dowd. For me. And after all this, I'm still just a murderer. There's so much doubt, but there are some things I know are true. The Outsider is no more, and with that, the world will change in ways none of us can know. But the Void is still there, echoing just beyond what you can see. And there's no one left to say who will and won't be touched by its magic.